What's going on you guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna create this. Now music video effects has been high up on the request table on this channel, so I think it's time that we make some dope transitions. Now for this, I'm also using Affinity Photo like we did in the previous video. So if you don't have Affinity Photo, feel free to download any free or paid applications which can do the same things when it comes to masking like Affinity Photo. Now before we head over to the tutorial, make sure to hit that subscribe button, that would be really appreciated. And also let's take a look at the sponsor of today's video. If you're looking for music for your music videos or if you just want some spiced up hip hop and R&B rap styled vibes for your videos, whether it's vlogs, tech reviews or any type of videos that you are adding to your channel or to your other social media platforms, then Epidemic Sound is uh, probably probably the best choice for you. This is something that I've been using for a very long time and on Epidemic Sound there is so many different variations of uh, hip hop, R&B and uh, rap styled music tracks which you can also get in different versions. So if you find one music track which is a little bit dark and rough around the edges and uh, there's a lot of different words that you don't want, most of these uh, creators and musicians also have that in the clean version. Now if you don't want see any vocals at all, they also happen to have the same track in instrumental versions. And if they don't, you can simply download the stems from that music, download all the different stems from the track and then you can apply all of the tracks except for the vocals to your timeline and then you have your own customizable instrumental track, which you can customize and tweak as you want with the different layers applied to your timeline. And if you're just like me and you want the best of the best for your videos with high quality music, use the link in the description below to sign up for a 30 day free trial today. This also helps supporting the channel. Now back to the tutorial. So once we move over to LumaFusion, we're going to start by taking a snapshot of the subject or object that we want to apply this effect to. Once we've taken a snapshot, we're going to go over and open up Affinity Photo. Here we're going to go over to the plus on the top right corner, add a new image from photos and then we're going to select the photo that we just took a snapshot of. Now we're going to move over to the selection tool and we're going to draw a mask freehand around the subject or object. Now Affinity Photo is doing quite an impressive job so we don't have to be that accurate. We're going to go over and fix this later on. Once our mask is done, we're going to tap on the refine button. Once we tapped on the refine button, we can now clean up the image and remove all the uh, rough edges around the subject or object. You can also follow the process and see how I get rid of everything in this image to get a clean mask. Once we cleaned up the image, we can go down to the output and we can choose a new layer with mask. Now here you can see that Affinity Photo did quite an amazing job. You can always uh, adjust this if you go over to the erase tool and then you can zoom in and erase the different parts and remove those around the subject or object. But for now we're going to leave it as it is. The next thing we're going to do is to go over to layer effects which is here and then we're going to add an outer glow. Here you can change the color to whatever color color of your choice. You can also tweak the radius and intensity and the opacity of the glow and the color that you apply to your subject or object. Once this is done, we're going to go over to the export button and we're going to tap on share and then save image. Once this is done, we can go back over to LumaFusion. 
Once we're back inside of LumaFusion, what I like to do is to add a marker at the exact same spot before I remove the playhead. Now, this is a really nice uh, tip to have an indication of where the cut will be to the image and the video itself. Now, once we've done that, we can apply the image to our timeline and it's all about getting the proper uh, position of the photo so it matches the video clip in the background. Now, once you have the photo matching, you can go over and tap on the uh, disable clip snapping feature and then we can drag out the clip which is underneath. We can remove it or we can keep it as it is. But the thing is here that you want the uh, bottom clip to overlap as you see here in the uh, example. So we get the animation coming in whilst there is a different clip playing underneath. Now, once you have the clip properly set, we're gonna clone this as many times as we want. So for this example, we going to clone it two times so we end up with three clips. Once this is done we're going to go into each individual clip and then we're going to keyframe it in from the left or right side or top and bottom. So the first keyframe we will have the image out of frame and on the last keyframe we will simply reset so everything is back to normal. So it's placed directly where the subject or object is standing in the video below. And once you've done that, you will end up with something like this. Now you can also go back and fine tune and adjust the speed of the animation and so on. Now the next step is to take the uh, bottom layer, which is the video file and drag a little bit to the right. And then we're gonna import the original image, uh, which we took a snapshot of earlier. And then we're gonna place the three image layers, which we added animation to above that. So it looks something like this. So we have the original image come Coming in a little bit before the video starts, which is creating a really nice effect. Now the next step is to correct and adjust the different animations if needed to get a more professional look. As the final step, we're going to go over to color and effects here and we're going to add a motion 20. Once the motion 20 is added, we're just going to make a keyframe at the beginning and then we're going to make a keyframe at the end. And the last keyframe is where we reset the motion blur back to zero. So we have the motion starting at 20 and ending at zero. Now, once all of this is done, you will have a clip that looks like this. So there you have a fairly simple music video effect that you can add to your videos. Now, if you want to see more music video effects, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and also notification to never miss any future videos. Now, with that said, uh, that's going to be the end of today's video. So I'll see you in the next one. You can assume with your chains on. I can see none with the lights off. Cap, you been the main one. Cooling when I got my mains on. Show money, but those aren't the same ones. I've been told you that it was game on. Been witnessing.